Now, I wonder, you know, it, what I show younger kids is, what if you could just take a pen and draw on that glass? And you held yourself stationary and you put the pen up to the glass of the case. And then you could take it off. There was a piece of invisible paper there. You would have the alligator. That's really all you're doing. The snag is that your paper's in front of you. So you're just taking the contour and putting it on your paper. But you get goofed up in where locations are. So that's why I'm holding my pencil up. I'm just saying, gee, that's under the eye, that far, and to the left of the eye. So it's just like MapQuest. I'm not trying to go a long distance without stopping along the way. So I go to this town, then I go to that town. Then I so it's always going back home and then venturing out. And then I go back home and then I venture out and then I, and I leave all this, this is, this is a technical fact that's sort of interesting. I leave all this battle there when I put the color on and it all disappears. You don't remember the pain of the thing. Because once you start painting over this, people oh, I have to erase all those. No, you don't have to erase a thing. Just leave it all there and it, the watercolor eats it up. But I, I revise and I revise and I revise and then a moment it clicks. You know, like here I'm crawling. I'm moving from one area to the next and then I'll jump up and make sure the one area I'm in relates correctly to the other areas. You know, it's just, it's a parallel system to writing, sports, everything. It, you know, you have to stand back at the, the hole and then you can go back in and use a detail to check your distances. And then you, it, you fall into this zone when you're doing it, which at school, for instance, we all teach three days in a row because they want you to have four days in a row. It doesn't, it's hard to work one day then not for three days and then again. It's the consistency of the zone that gets you the good drawing. So when I'm doing the big draw tomorrow, I of course today I'm down there drawing so that I'm, my hand will be loose and I'll be in the, and I think that's hardest on most people. It looks so magical, but that's because I'm doing it all the time. And there are such things as erasers. I mean, you know, I wish life was so easy. Just take an eraser, cross out that month. That was a very bad month. <laughs> Go right on to the next, you know. Oh, I never said that. Never said that. It's gone. So, that part of the process. But you can tell from the amount of horizontals and verticals how many times I check something. I tell the students 10, but I'm lying. I don't know how many. However many it takes. There I am erasing. <laughs> Now, I, other people learn, and I did too, from figure drawing. And so you have a live model, and there's always movement, and, you're all, and you can't go back and get it again. So part of my system comes from the fact that I taught myself at the Field Museum, where my, I had stationary subjects that I could come back to day after day. So I had the luxury of knowing I had whatever amount of time I needed to get something right. And that changes your thinking. And then the odd thing is now, when I go to the zoo, I get it quickly, because I got to get it quickly. But I'm not sure if I'd just gone to the zoo for 10 years, I would ever have gotten it. I needed to sort of build a system. See here, I'm just crawling across his pattern, going from one to the next, counting, you know, trying to remember. Ooh, no close-up of the pegster. Yeah. <laughs>
But people talk about my line a lot, like, oh, I, I want my line to feel fresh like that. And then I'm like, well, it will if you know where you're going. But it, you know how people put down that pencil and they're so scared that it's a jagged little, like I'm a nervous line. But I've figured out where I'm going through MapQuest. So when I finally go there with a dark line, it, the line says I'm confident or I'm scared or I'm, you know, it talks. That's why people walk up behind me and go, oh God, that's so beautiful. I think, what's beautiful about that? That's line talking to people. Whoever thought that. And there's certain phases that, um, this is interesting, where it's so confusing and abstract that they don't know what I'm doing. And then the, the subject starts to emerge and they're like, really taken. They think it's like magic. What is it? I've just done it like an engineer. See, you're crawling. Boom, boom, boom. Crazy person. But, you know, the too much pressure is put on the, the creative side that we deny the calculated part of it. I mean, and I go to sports there, you know. I mean, the first guy who dunked already knew, you know, he could dribble, he, he knew all the basics and then he thought, well, how about just putting it in there? You go, you know, it's, I feel like if you can stand on, the whole process is so psychological, but if you can stand on a firm foundation and fool yourself into thinking you're doing some magical thing, then maybe magic will happen. <laughs>